Hi everyone, this is Hebba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 23, 2020, and I'm going to be documenting the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm documenting some time with my kids at the pool. So there's a lot to document this week. Now I'm gonna be using some cards from Azari. If you're not familiar with Azari, I'm gonna add her link down in the description box, but she was giving these printables for free around that time. And she has beautiful, beautiful stamps, stickers, definitely recommend her. I purchased a few things from her shop and they're just gorgeous. I decided to like kind of use some of Azari's cards and some of Studio Calico's cards because, um, you know, one half is about Black Lives Matter. The other half is about like the kids and I and, you know, being quarantined and staying at home. So I kind of used different cards from different companies and brands. I'm going to start with my title card. I'm stamping week 23. I ended up using Carrie Bradford's stamp set here. I love the boldness of that week and I wanted like a bold week. And I did use, I believe, one of my Studio Calico number stamp sets to add 23. I'm going to finish up my title card just grabbing a puffy sticker and adding it right above week. I just wanted to add something simple, basic, but bold enough for this beautiful title card. Now for my Black Lives Matter, I decided to print out these printables also free from Persnickety Prints. And I, it's kind of like a timeline and I thought it was perfect for what I'm documenting. So I'm gonna create a flip pocket. I've shared plenty how I create my flip pockets. This time around, I'm using paper. Sometimes I use washi tape, whatever works for you, you know, go for it. But I'm gonna create a little hinge for my flip and I will back up that card with another card here that I printed out from Persnickety Prints. And then I will grab some word stickers and just add a few words. I think I ended up adding brave and fearless right in between enough. And I love how this card turned out. Very simple and beautiful, but bold because of the black. It's just so cool. Anyways, I will be adding one of Azari's stickers right in the center of my collage here. I just used photos from the internet. Anything that touched me that I want to remember, I added in that collage and I left that center empty on purpose so I can add one of Azari's stickers in there. I will also use a stamp that I bought from her as well. It's a Black Lives Matter stamp and I'm gonna add it to this three by four card. I think this card worked really, really well because it had the flowers and it said grow and that worked really well. I just wanted to kind of journal about how I felt that week when all of this was happening. Gonna finish up my card by adding a few enamel dots and call this three by four card done. Like I said earlier, uh, the opposite side of my spread is all about quarantining and being at home. So I took this three by four card to my typewriter, added some journaling about like organizing my daughter's room, uh, cutting my son's hair, going to the pool. So I just kind of added the little word sticker right in the center just to add some color. And then I'm gonna document this three by four photo of when I cut my son's hair. It wasn't the best, but I'm learning. And I found the perfect sticker. This sticker is from Pink Fresh, and it said learning something new. I felt like it didn't match really well with my spread. So I'm gonna end up backing it up with a yellow label. The label matched perfectly with my title card. And that way it helped that blue kind of, I don't know, uh, blend well with my layout. Now I'm gonna end up sticking it to the side of my photo and when I trim off the label, I'm gonna use that half for my four by six collage of us at the pool. This is a great way to use your stickers, your scraps, and it's fun. I just created a little cluster using that label. I went through the dyes from the same uh, collection from Pink Fresh and added a blue heart. That way it helps bring in the blue label that I added to my three by four photo. And then I thought, oh, this is the perfect spot 
to use Studio Calico's pool stamp set. I had this for a few months and I decided to stamp, I think it just said pool time or something, right uh, directly on my photo. And then I call my layout done. I love how this turned out. I've been really enjoying catching up on my Project Life spreads. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching them. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.